swelling around the eye, also known as periorbital edema, also puffy eyes. Main mechanism is fluid retention and accumulation surrounding tissues around the eye. There are several types of swelling around the eye. First and most common is ibex. It occurs 50% of cases. Second is periorbital edema. Occurs 20% of cases. Bleparitis, 15% of cases. And chelazion, 10% of cases. Let's discuss each one. Eye bugs. Most common cause of eye bugs is aging. During aging, it's normal that tissue and muscles around our eyes weaken over time and fluid retention is common. Also, fat migrates forward and our eyes appears more puffy. In young, generally healthy people, a high probability of puffy eyes cause is high salt diet, lack of sleep, alcohol, because all of them causes fluid retention. Also hormonal changes and menstruation. Another also common cause periorbital edema is allergy, infections, trauma, sinus infections, Graves disease, and sometimes rarely kidney disease also. But if you see person and has puffy eyes, it does not automatically mean kidney disease and kidney problems because puffy eyes is not early uh, symptom of kidney disease and usually edema and swollen are legs and feet before eyes. So in uh, advanced stages kidney disease of course there is possible uh, puffy eyes and uh, periorbital edema but it's not very common. Uh, Allergy, you, uh, in case of allergy symptoms are itchy, watery eyes, uh, bilateral involvement, it means both of eyes are swollen uh, and it's triggered by uh, some, for example, dander or allergen, uh, it can be uh, dust or mites or certain foods. In case of infection, symptoms are redness and irritation of the eye Discharge, discharge from the eye, yellow or white or green, uh, crusty eyelashes, uh, and uh, eyes are gritty. Uh, bleparitis and uh, generally uh, eye infections are very near. Uh, bleparitis is infection and inflammation of eyelids. Uh, you can see on the picture and symptoms are same uh, gritty eyes burning sensation uh, excessive tearing uh, and sometimes pain uh, also uh, light sensitivity uh, and in case of chelazion uh, it's quite localized process you can see this inflammation and swelling is more localized and not on whole eye um, and also people are interesting about interested about dark cycles um, dark uh, cycles are uh, common also and it's more common in people with thinner skin and in people with age also and when person's skin is seen underlying dark tissues are more prominent that's why eyes uh, we see, uh, we see uh, areas around the eyes as dark cycles. That's the main mechanism. That's all. Uh, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.